Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make a mini oil lamp that fits inside this tiny Altoids tin. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I want to say that the genesis of this idea came from Lars at Survival Russia. He has a great channel and I encourage you to check him out. Anyway, he was talking about how in the Second World's War, soldiers would take shell casings, just like I showed you, and a strip of cloth and they would fill it with diesel fuel or some other kind of oil and pinch the top to make it a little flatter and made improvised oil lamps. Of course, they had shells by the millions, so it was something to do while they were bivouacked and writing letters home and something for some extra light. So that's where the seed idea for this little oil lamp came from. And now let's get on with the video. To do this project, you're going to need a few things. First of all, a small mini Altoids tin. It's been cleaned out and washed out thoroughly. Then you're going to need a wick. And I tried several different wicks, about six different ones as a matter of fact, until I found this. I got this at Hobby Lobby, $3.49. And there's eight feet or 2.44 meters. So it's a lot of wick. It's gonna last a really long time for this type of project. Now, this is a round braided wick zinc core. So it's got a zinc wire inside, which helps it stay up straight and burn much more efficiently. The next item you're going to want to have is an empty 223 or 556 brass shell. And then you also want a small 380 empty brass shell. And you need to test fit these. You need to make sure that this will adequately fit over top and you might have to twist it or wiggle a little bit to get it on there but it needs to be an airtight fit so that when you pull it apart you hear that little sound okay so it needs to be able to pull apart it needs to go on there smooth enough that you can pull it off uh, you might have to just work this a little bit back and forth several times to get it to go on there good and I found that the more you use it, the easier it is to take off and on. But that's very important to seal it up while you're carrying it. And that makes a complete unit. The next thing you're going to need is some sort of very small bottle that will fit inside of this tin. And what I found was Dr. Schultz's Fresh Breath. And this is a great little product. It's .25 of an ounce. And because of its size, it fits really good down inside. And the lid will shut. So... That's important. Now what I did is I took the label off and wrote the type of oil that I'm carrying in here and also emptied this into another container so I can still use it because uh, I didn't want to just waste the breath freshener. The next thing we need to do is make a hole in the top of this tin. And the reason we do that is so that the tin then becomes a base for the oil lamp to sit in. And how we do that is we just open this up and we find the space that we want to Put the hole in and then we find a drill bit that is a similar diameter to the 556 and of course that's a 3 8 drill bit now you can drill this with a drill or you can just very carefully take a hammer and very carefully punch this out of course be careful i'm doing it on this log which is a little slippery but you can go ahead and punch this out you might have to do it a couple different ways you may have to use some sort of a small rat tail file and get in there and open that up so that you can put the shell through. Once you get it on through, kind of wiggle it around. You don't want it too loose. But once we do that way, now we've got all of these burrs sticking up that way. And so we can simply fix that by taking another board and the hammer and very carefully tapping that back down. Of course, test fit again make sure that the shell goes up through there and that it fits right there we go and that it closes and it holds everything nice and firm now that we've got the hole done we need to measure the wick for this project unroll this and we want a wick that is long enough to stick out the top but we also want it a little longer so that we can roll it up so that once the wick burns down a little bit we can just pull it up so we're going to cut it to about half inch above and then about an inch below cuts real easily and you can do this with a pocket knife just 
just like that. And you can see the little wire sticking out right there. All right, so now we're gonna take, I'm gonna fold this like that, making sure we have about a half inch sticking out and keep rolling this until we get it right where we want it, to the bottom of the shell. And then pinch it a little and slide it in the opening. And that's pretty good. That's about a half inch of wick sticking out. Once we like the test fit of the wick, we'll go ahead and slide it back out. And then we'll go ahead and open up the tin and reinsert the shell making sure that it's the right length so it sits flat on the bottom just like that. And of course that gives a nice stable surface so you're not going to knock it over easily when you're out camping. Now, I have chosen to use olive oil and I wrote it on here with a sharpie and then wrapped some tape around it to help protect it from getting rubbed off because you know olive oil will remove that sharpie marker on plastic. Anyway, olive oil is useful for all kinds of things including cooking. And I found out that I can refill this at least three different times. And it has a nice little squeeze bottle. And depending on how full you make this, you might get four fillings out of it. So we go ahead and about 40 drops. All right, 40 drops is good. And we go ahead and put the wick in. And now if you want, if you've saved a little bit extra, you can go ahead and drip a couple of drops onto the wick and that will help the wicking process. Now you're going to have to let this set for a couple of minutes so that it soaks up and once capillary action begins and it starts to wick up the olive oil uh, then you can light it. I also find that it's a good idea to have a little folded up piece of paper towel and that way if I spill anything I can go ahead and wipe this off and try to keep the whole set from getting all dirtied up. Uh, and oily. While you're waiting for this to wick up, go ahead and cut two or three extra wicks and fold them up so that they'll fit lengthwise inside of the oil lamp. The other item that I've noticed and an issue that you have with this is sometimes your wick will burn down kind of fast and you want to pull it up. I have a very small pair of tweezers that came off of a Swiss Army knife knockoff, some sort of a Chinese made, just a little tiny pocket model. And this works absolutely perfectly for grabbing the wick, even when it's burning, and pulling it up slightly. Just works excellent. So I like to include that in the kit. It doesn't take up much space, and extra tweezers are always good to have. Once we feel like that's soaked up long enough, then you simply take a match or a lighter and put some flame to it. It doesn't take long to light. And of course you do have to keep this block from the wind but I can get about a half an hour from 40 drops of olive oil. Now you could probably carry some aluminum foil, anything you want of course to make a windscreen for this. Of course you can use any kind of oil, diesel fuel, kerosene, whatever. I use olive oil because it is smokeless and odorless. So it's great for inside of a shelter. When you're done with it and you want to extinguish the flame, just use your little cap, come right down over top, and then push down and now it's sealed and if this works right and if it's sealed properly you can even lay it down inside of the tin without it spilling if it leaks it's very little bit but this is a nice tight fit and it is airtight and oil tight in this particular case now to pack it all together first we want to take our little bit of paper towel and we'll put it down here in the bottom and that's just in case there's any leaks that'll help absorb also to wipe up things if we do spill a little bit of oil on the outside of our little oil lamp then we take our extra wicks and we can put them in here as well carry two or three however many you wish and then the little tweezers that we use to adjust the wick while it's burning next we put in the olive oil and you can do this however you wish whatever fits the best and then last but not least, after we put the cap on to the oil lamp, make sure it's nice and tight. It's right there in the front. And then as you can see, we can just close it and it snaps real good and tight. And there we have it. 
put it in your pocket, stick it in your backpack, and you have a couple of hours of good light wherever you go. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.